Hey, it's Kat here, and today we're gonna to be making this gorgeous red jumper inspired by the one worn by Claudia Winkleman on the show Traitors. If you haven't seen season two yet, dive in. It's binge-worthy, it's addictive, everything you need in a good TV show. I'm gonna go nice and slow, so grab a cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. I'm going to be using 10 skeins of Debbie Bliss Merino for this project. That amount is perfect for what you need and also a 10 millimeter crochet hook and a 5.5 millimeter hook as well for around the bottom and the cuffs. I got the yarn on Lovecrafts and the hooks on Amazon and I will link both of these below for you. We're going to be making the back of the jumper first, which is just a rectangle in linked double crochet. So once you have that stitch down, you'll be well away and you will have that stitch down by the end of this tutorial. So I am just going to make a slip knot and then chain six with my little hook. There we go, we have six stitches already. Now I'm going to switch hooks to my larger hook and I'm going to chain another 34. One, two, three, and so on. I'll meet you back here when you have chained 34 with your large hook. So we now have a long chain of 40 stitches and six of those are smaller stitches and 34 of those are larger stitches. We're now starting row one. So we are gonna start with linked double crochet and the first stitch is slightly different to other stitches because it's from the chain. So in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna go in with our crochet hook and pull up a loop and then go into the next chain from the hook, which is the third chain from the hook, and pull up another loop, and then we're gonna pull through those two and then pull through the next two. So that's our first double crochet, or our first linked double crochet, and that counts as one stitch. Now we can carry on doing linked double crochet stitches, and what you need to remember for these is, you are not gonna be starting in the base stitch where the chain is, you're gonna be starting actually in the loop of the last stitch. So the middle loop here, we're gonna put our hook into, and then pull up a loop, and then we're gonna go into the next stitch in the chain. Pull up another loop, and then we have three loops on our hook, and then we can yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through another two as we normally would. Now we're just gonna carry on doing these linked double crochet stitches until we have 31 linked double crochet stitches, and I'll meet you back here when you've done 31. Now we have 31 linked double crochet stitches and we are gonna just switch hooks again and do six more stitches with the smaller hook. At the end of the row, we are going to chain two with a small hook. Turn our work and then linked double crochet by the smaller hook. and then we're gonna change to our large hook and carry on with the rest of the row. We are going to do this exact same thing 
So chaining two at the end and then turning and going back down. And I'm gonna do this for 28 rows. So I'll meet you back here when you've done 28 rows and that'll be your back panel finished. When you have 28 rows, this is what the back panel should look like. Now we're onto the front panel and the front panel is exactly the same as the back panel that you've just done for the first nine rows. So you're gonna start off exactly the same and do nine rows exactly as you did for the first one. And then when we get to the 10th row, that is where we're going to start doing the neckline. So I'll meet you back here when you've done nine and a half ish rows and then and then i'll show you what to do after that now we've done nearly 10 rows this is our 10th row we're going to leave the top two stitches in the 10th row out and that will be the start of our neckline so we're going to just chain two here as we normally would and then turn our work and then carry on going down up, down, up, down, you're going to do rows 10 to 18. And when you've done rows 10 to 18, I'll meet you back here and we can carry on with the other side of the front. Now we want the neck to go back up again at the other side. So on row 19, we're going to chain four. And then we're going to do our linked double crochet again, two stitches of this. So we're gonna go into the second and third stitch and link double crochet as we normally would, and then linked double crochet into that next stitch. Then you're just going to carry on your row as usual downwards and there you have your neckline you're going to go on for another 10 rows Now we have the front and back panels. We are now gonna sew these two together. So I'm gonna sew across each shoulder using the mattress stitch or whatever stitch you fancy. You really won't be able to see the stitches anyway. and then I'm gonna sew up the side seams and I'm gonna leave those open just so we will be able to fit the arms on nicely. And then I'm gonna try it on. I think it's a really nice shape. It's kind of coming off the shoulder and just how I would really like it, nice and oversized. Now we're gonna make the neckline. So I'm going to chain seven with the smaller hook. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook, fill up a loop, third chain, fill up a loop, and then pull through, pull through. So we're doing leg double crochet all along.
until we get right to the end. And then you should have five stitches and you're going to carry on for 32 more rows of this, okay, with the small hook and that will make your neckline so just the same as you did before with the rest of your jumper but just a smaller version and you're going in the back loop only as usual so I'll meet you back here when you have your 32 rows. Now what I'm going to do is line up one end of the neck with the middle of the back panel. Then I'm going to start sewing the neck to the back whilst kind of stretching the neck piece a little to keep it in line. I find that if you don't stretch it, then it can go a little bit frilly. Then carry on doing this all the way around the front until you get round to the back again and if you need to then you can pull out a couple of rows just to make it so it perfectly in line and there's your neck. Right so we're moving on to the arms now and I'm going to chain six with the smaller hook so it's going to be the same principle one, two, three, four, five, six, and then switch to the larger hook and chain 24. One, two, three, four. I'll meet you back here when we've done 24. So we've got 30 in total. We've got our 24, now I'm going to do a linked double crochet, starting with the second chain from the hook, going into the third chain from the hook and pulling up loops in those, and then pulling through two and then through another two. And now I'm going to do this all the way along. And then obviously when we get to the bottom six stitches, I'm going to change my hook. So essentially it's the same as the back. It is exactly the same as the back except the number of stitches. And then you're only going to go across 10 times. So we're gonna do 10 rows exactly like this. And then we're gonna start decreasing. So I'll meet you back here when we've done 10 rows. Okay, now we've done 10 rows for our arm or sleeve. I am going to chain as normal and then go back. So on my 11th row, I'm only gonna come down to where the cuff starts. All right, and then I'm gonna carry on going up. I'm gonna chain two as we normally do one turn and then I'll meet you when we get to here right so we've gone down the row and where we would normally change hook we are not going to change hook no we are going to turn chain one and then we're going to just in that back loop, we're going to do a single crochet like that. And then we are going to start doing our link double crochets again, but we're going to do it one in there, one in there. So we have something that looks a little bit like that. So we're kind of tapering this off and then we're going to start on our link double crochets again and go all the way to the end of the row. So I'll meet you back here when you've done all the way to the end of this row. All right, so now we're at the top of row 12. We're gonna chain two and turn. And then we're gonna link double crochet 17. All right, so now we've done 17 linked double crochets. We are going to chain one and turn. And then we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook, back loop, pull up a loop, single crochet one, and then we're gonna carry on with our linked 
double crochets all the way to the end. Now we've finished one arm and we need to make the other one. So we're going to do all of this twice. We're then going to fold the arm over so the seam is nice and lined up and use the darning needle to sew up the seam from one end to the other. I'm using the mattress stitch here. So going in from one side to the other and then down to the next stitch and do exactly the same thing until you get to the end. Then I'm going to sew each arm onto the body using this same stitch and making sure the side where the stripes are all the way down is at the front on both arms so they both look identical. Do this all the way around for both arms and then you should be finished. Guys, I'm so excited about this. This has taken me such a long time to do and I really, really hope that you followed along okay. I'm gonna turn it inside out now and don't worry too much about all these ends because they're gonna be on the inside. And if you wanna weave them all in, you can, but I have actually bought stuff in the past with ends inside the garment. So, moment of truth, we're gonna turn it inside out. Yeah, I'm gonna to need to do a bit of snipping. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the finished product. I've just weaved in all the ends and by weaving in the ends, I mean I've put them to the inside. So I literally did all the sewing and then turned this inside out. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want anything more like this, then please just let me know because I would love to do more of these for you. I'll leave a similar video here for you to watch and I will see you in that video. Bye.